guys, it's Lars Lehmann once again for Sadowski Germany. And this little baby here is a Sadowski Metroline 24 fret modern bass. Let's check it out. All right, first things first, this whole base is super light. It's 8.9 pounds. That's something less than uh, four kilograms. And the beautiful finish here is called natural transparent satin. We have a body that's made from American red alder. The neck is made from maple with two reinforcing carbon rods in here. And the fretboard is made from Murado with 24 nickel silver frets. Now you want to pay special attention people to the uh, ends of the frets, right? Because they have what they call the IFT, the invisible fret technology. And what that is, is there's no way that any sharp fret ends can stick out of the fretboard. Check this out. We have five vintage style tuners, Sadowski tuners with open gear, very beautiful and shiny. We have a Sadowski just in at three, which is perfect for setting up the string height, especially in the lower registers. So for your fretting hand. And if you want to adjust your truss rod, this is where your truss rod wheel comes in very handy, right? Because you don't have to loosen any covers or whatever. Just grab your screwdriver and boom, your neck bow is set. As far as pickups, we have two Sadowski soap bars with uh, soft touch covers, very pleasant for your plucking hand. We have a Sadowski 2D bridge, which allows for setup in two dimensions. And this one is a quick release people. So if you're changing strings, you don't have to pull the whole string through the bridge. You just, just use these little extra holes here and you're all set. Preamp wise, we have a knob for volume. We have pickup balance. There's one thing that's special about the uh, pickup balance, because if you turn it clockwise, you have the back pickup on, turn it counterclockwise, you have the front pickup on. Most companies will do it the other way around, right? We also have what they call the VTC, the Vintage Tone Control. This is actually a passive tone blend, which also serves as a push-pull for active and passive mode. And we have the legendary Sadowski two band preamp consisting of a lower ring for bass and an upper ring for treble. Now, if you turn the bass around, the first thing that meets the eye is this beautiful wood. Check this out, people. It's very, very nice. We have a traditional bolt-on construction, right? Four screws. And we also have this quick access electronics compartment cover. This base is capable of doing so many things and I can't wait to show them all to you. But first of all, I'm going to be using a Warwick Gnome iPro 600 with uh, 600 watts of power. And this thing can also serve as an audio interface, guys. We also have a Warwick Gnome 2x10 cap and a Warwick 115 cap. And what you are about to hear is a mixture. It's a combination of both the line signal as well as the mic signal. All right, sound files. I have the EQ of my base. I'm totally flat because obviously you want to hear the instrument and not the amp. I'm going to start out in passive mode, which means I'm going to pull my VTC. I have both pickups on for now. VTC is uh, at a hundred percent and check out this amazing B string. It's got to be one of the best sounding B strings on the planet. Check this out. <laughs> All right, here's the back pickup. Okay, next up, I'm going to switch to active mode. I have bass and treble at not much really, 15% maybe. And check out this amazing evenness. The notes literally ring forever. 
Okay, now to something completely different. Uh, I'm still in active mode. Base is at, I'd say, 50%. Travel at about 70%. VTC is full up and I have both pickups. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to be using a Plectrum. I have the front pickup on at, I'd say, 75%. Bass is rather low at 15% uh, and treble is at 50%. VTC is full on. <laughs> Here's one with a bridge pickup. A bass is at 30%, treble is at 75%. Wow, guys, <laughs> it's gonna be hard for me to give this one back to the factory. Maybe I don't and I just run away with it. Definitely make sure to check out this German-made Sadowski Metroline 24 fret modern bass. Killer instrument, I tell you. Oh, and if you want to find out more on German-made Sadowski basses, please go to sadowskibass.com. Feel free to, to like and subscribe. Hit the uh, bell for notifications on new videos. Leave comments if you feel like doing so. That's it from me. I'm Lars, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.